hello so i attempted to start this vlog the other day and then uh just didn't continue it so i thought i would come on here and just be honest basically i've been feeling a bit meh um and that's the only way i ever describe it like meh so uh yeah i feel like a lot of us are in the same situation right now this third lockdown is hitting differently if you're in the uk you will know that we are locked down once again for the third time um in a year and um i've just read something like the first time uh it was temporary and we all kind of were behind it it was summer it was nice so you could sit in the garden you could chill out outside you know the second lockdown was christmas so we had that to look forward to even though christmas didn't go to plan for a lot of people and then this lockdown is just like january which i always find the worst month of the year because it's so cold it's so dark at night there's nothing to look forward to all the fairy lights have gone from christmas and then we've been locked down so yeah it's just been a bit of a tough one now i know i am lucky in the position that i'm in i'm healthy i'm sheltered i'm fed but that still doesn't mean i can't feel these things so if you're also like feeling these things but then feeling guilty because you don't have it as bad as other people your feelings are valid um as are everyone else's and sometimes you just have a down day so um yeah i've had a down couple of days um but i'm just sort of letting myself deal with it luckily i have the product launch things all ready to go they launch right now as this video goes live so i am going to show you them on this video so that you can see them and um hopefully they sell really well i love them myself so fingers crossed other people do too i've actually been using my daily planner in fact let's just show you them now so this is the daily list planner so it's in this like corally pinky peach shade on the front and it says make it happen um, and then just plain on the back it's got like this lovely silk texture to it and the front cover and the back cover are thicker material so the idea is this is like a version of my daily planner that you can put in your bag because obviously you can't really transport these so i thought of doing this so then inside on the left is a page for a to-do list a schedule the date the time some treats um tomorrow's tasks and then all of this side is notes or doodles and yeah i filmed a little tiktok yesterday of me sort of demonstrating how it can be used and it was really helpful because i often find that i'll like set tasks and like for example i have like calls with my manager sometimes and he tells me things i haven't yet written down things i need to know for tomorrow so like whilst i was on the meeting you could like write things in your notes with your to-do list on the side add anything on we've got big check boxes and yeah i've really really been enjoying this i obviously tested with a little prototype which is basically a piece of a4 paper um but having it in actual book form is so handy because i can just take that anywhere with me so that's that um then where have i put them over here let's change the food in the roof all the way apologies in advance for how like dull this vlog's probably gonna be um this is just life right now and i can't do anything about it i'm getting very frustrated with not having like any plans to look forward to but aren't we all so the next thing i have is this trio of little pocket notebooks so i have shown these in a previous vlog so you probably have seen them but basically there are three different designs this reminds me of like an old school textbook you can write in here whatever the book's for and then a little logo on the back they're all lined paper I figured lined is the most popular one um, and I'm really bad at writing in straight lines if I don't have lined paper so yeah they're all lined then we've got this sort of like abstract Memphis style one and then we've got this one which is like a teal green colour with like a grid pattern on it and I feel like these look really cute as a little trio so they all come together and then finally for this month's launch we have some postcards slash mini prints so i get asked about postcards a lot so i thought i'd do sort of a print slash coat postcard combo so in the set you get five different postcards and you can stick them on your wall as a little motivational print or i have left the back blank just with a logo so you can add an address and write on it or post it to your pal or whatever so it's completely up to you uh, so this one is that you look good today we've got bright colors 
lovely fun i think this is probably my favorite but then again i change my favorites every single day so <laughs> then we've got this which says be fearless if you've been around for a while you'll know that my whole shop and my favorite quote in the world is be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire that's why my shop is called soul and fire a lot of my old like og merch said be fearless on it so that's why i did this so that's just a little nod to that quote then we've got find your fire again a nod to the soul on fire cute then we've got this which says make it happen love that and it's got like a nice like textured style to it can you see in the background and then this which says smile and this is like a typeface which i adjusted myself and i basically ended up drawing this all myself from scratch in the end and with a little smiling heart as the eye so that is the postcard set so yeah i've been working on those i actually ordered those just before i stopped working for christmas so i have had them for a while i think from now on i'm gonna try and release new products on my shop every month before it was kind of hard to do that because I had a lot of like admin behind the scenes tasks that sort of took out took over my day whereas now because my mum works for me she's taken over the more admin based tasks um which means I am freed up to do some design work so although obviously I'm paying out to pay my mum the investment in the long run hopefully fingers crossed should be worth it because it means I can release more things so yeah and it's also very good that once a week i have my mum to motivate me because um having like set hours on a thursday when mum's working for me actually makes me get so much work done so that also helps right oh actually i'm gonna do a little haul so this is a delivery i recently got from artisa i think you pronounce it and basically these are a amazing craft brand they have lots of things on their website i will leave their website and these particular products linked in the description and basically they've gifted me these and sort of challenged me I guess to create something with them so I'm gonna do a little bit of like unboxing and testing in today's video and then I think as well I'll do like a dedicated video like testing out new products we'll see but I am dying to get into these so I'm gonna open them today so that is on the plan so we've got acrylic colors we've got 20 different acrylic paints 16 self-adhesive vinyls in holographic that's gonna be so cool on the Cricut I feel like I'm gonna customize one of my water bottles with this and then we've got 20 quick drying water-based acrylic markers now I actually got some very cheap markers similar to this on Amazon and they are amazing I love them but I feel like this is just gonna be next level and look at all the colors so yeah, thank you very much Artisa for sending these over. It's not sponsored, it's literally just they gifted me these um, and hoped I'd rave about them. So let's see. You know when you've just got like, I'm like the person where I've got lots to do. I'll do it and I won't give myself the chance to sort of like praise myself for getting it done. Like I do one thing and I'm like right on to the next thing. I don't ever really give myself a break <laughs> um which i suppose is just self-employed life slash workaholic life um like you're always striving to be better but again another quote i saw over the past few days can you tell i've been like really reflecting on things um was that remember the time you once dreamed of the things that you have now something along those lines so like you almost forget to live in the present because you're you're busy like reaching for new goals for example i remember when i really wanted this office when my brother was moving out and it was gonna be the best thing ever because i could separate work from like relax and chill now i have this office it's kind of normal but past me to see that i've now got like this mechanical desk i've got a brand new printer i've got a cricket like i've always wanted all these things and it's nice to sort of like sit down and appreciate them. Why am I waving these around? I don't know. So yeah, I feel like, in fact, it was a book that I was reading. I'll leave, leave that linked in the description because I can't remember what it was called. But yeah, like I'll get a cricket and then I'll think, right, what's next? What can I get now? Rather than like appreciating the cricket. Like it's not always physical things Like you can always, there's always something better. So I want to learn to appreciate what I have now more and sort of live in the moment. And I feel like social media is a huge 
sort of culprit for this way of thinking because no matter how much of a great day you've had you could go on instagram or you could go on twitter or you could go on youtube and someone could be having a better day than you like it's so easy to sort of see other people's days and think oh mine's actually been quite rubbish um when in reality instagram and youtube and everything is like an edited down version of anyone's day um it's rare you get someone who shares the good the bad and the ugly about their lives you know so yeah just feeling reflective um putting a lot of pressure on myself to do the the next best thing and be like the best and be the perfectionist that i i am but one of my new year's resolutions for 2021 was to curb my perfectionism so as a result of that i'm going to release more products because i have a lot of product ideas in the back of my head and i don't ever do them for the fear of them not being perfect so that's what i'm going to do and also things like this like i have all these craft markers and these paints and these amazing methods of creating things and i don't use them because i'm scared to start i'm scared it won't look good and i've just always been like that so yeah that's my <laughs> that's my live talks for the day let's just open these and i'll stop babbling on i also got these from home bargains it's a pack of four little canvases that i thought i could play around with should tidy my desk but could also just move it out of the way and pretend it's not here pens let's look at these acrylic markers so we have 20 different markers in fact i should probably go and get my sketchbook so i can just test these out with you right now one sec got my sketchbook that took about 20 minutes for me to find that um i've actually been drawing things in my sketchbook which again is something that i never used to do because i was scared of like ruining my sketchbook or it looking rubbish whereas i've realized the whole point of art is like experimentation so yeah i love this color combo of like the pink and the blue this is done with those pens that i mentioned that i got from amazon um so it'll be fun to see the sort of comparisons i was asking my parents like the things to draw so like random things like a bike pump fried eggs a rock <laughs> i know i'm not the best at drawing i'm definitely more of like a graphic person like big blocky things but yeah i really love this i feel like i might sort of do this as like a birthday s series or just even use these colors together i really like them oh, they've got little shakers in what's this what strange do you change the nib shake pump draw i can do that this is a cool color like a fluoro pink shade pump i've never used acrylic markers oh mate this color that is the pink that i love it's like highlighter pink this paper isn't the best paper but beautiful oh wow that's what the little tweezers are for look you get other nibs so if your nibs like wear down i'm presuming you pull it out with this and then change it and you get other nibs wow washed all the colors and then i got stuck in a tiktok scroll hole um i made the reel though so um head over to my instagram to watch that reel i'm very impressed with myself and i didn't pick it apart i just filmed it and posted it because that's what it's all about i think now i'm gonna do one more like filming thing i'm gonna put the new postcards up on this wall just temporarily because i like to keep this clear for my like main main channel filming um but i feel like it could look cute it's a good way to show the products and again it's a good way to sort of promote them before they go live so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna tidy up the marker pens afterwards did i actually show you the colors so these are the colors there's 20 pens all together there is a white obviously you can't really see it on this paper but i love i feel like the fluoro pink and this blue would work really well together for that style i was talking about but the plan is i'm gonna use this wall oh i also have a new plan because i killed my old one this is the remnants of my old plan i'm attempting to propagate it so i've sort of diy'd this weird propagation system 
and let's just hope little shoots come out of here. In the meantime, I bought a fake one. <laughs> so this is from Etsy and I think that looks so real. Anyway, let's stop getting distracted. I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna get some blue tack out of my drawer, which I think is in here. Yep, I need to sort these drawers out. Let's just close that and ignore it. edited and posted some reels and tiktoks uh, shared on my soul and fire stories and my main stories that i have released the products early but like set them to sold out i'm gonna try this new method i think for the next few launches of like what i'm doing now so i've released the products on the website they can't be added to the basket or anything but you can click on the photos you can read everything you can look at the prices and then when it comes to tomorrow at 5 p.m people can already know what they want without like the rush of like a launch now i'm not expecting them to be sold out but i know a lot of people do like to wait to the time and then feel the stress so hopefully that eases some of that um i'll try that out for the next few launches and sort of see how that goes um but yeah i'm actually really happy creating those reels and those tiktoks i've got a new little lease of life i don't know if you can tell you probably can from the start of this vlog it's been a very chatty one i know but i'm feeling a little bit more inspired and motivated i think just sometimes just like pushing through that i can't be bothered and i don't feel like it helps a lot but i'm just so stubborn sometimes i don't want to push through it so we'll see right i'm gonna go for some very late lunch it is 3 p.m and i haven't had my lunch yet and then when i get back upstairs i'm gonna have a go at playing with those holographic vinyls and the acrylic paint let's see how quickly it takes quickly it takes how long it takes for me to get acrylic paint on my clothes <laughs> lunch has been had as you can tell that was a very unnutritious lunch um i'm basically trying to eat up everything that's in the fridge that i'd opened because i usually forget and then it go off so yeah um i've just got a message from my manager he wants me to make some adjustments for brand job that i did i'm gonna do that and then i will get the acrylics out and do the vinyl it is starting to get a bit darker though so it might be dark but hey ho um yeah let's just quickly do this <laughs> the acrylic colours I've accidentally painted the same green twice and I think I got all of them it was quite difficult to try and get the lids off and get everything done at the same time now I guess I need to decide what to draw using these so let's say one of my like upcoming videos I will test both the acrylic pens and the acrylic paints and we'll create something even if it's just little like sketches um because i can't remember the last time i painted with something like this i did have a little bit of a craft week sort of towards the end of 2020 but i wasn't happy with the stuff that i made and that's the trouble because painting in actual like physical form it's not as easy to change when you go wrong so i think that's why i like don't do it um but anyway I am going to put one of the um, vinyl sheets into my Cricut and we'll cut out something for a water bottle. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to go and find a water bottle first, actually. Water bottle. Cricut vinyl. Okay, let's have a look at this vinyl. So, you get 16 sheets self-adhesive premium vinyl. Ooh, hello. She's shiny. Wow, we've got a lot of different colours in here. Oh my god, that coral. See that colour there? 
love it. I think I might just print out my name and put it on like the side of this water bottle, like Love Island style, you know? First up, let's measure the bottle. Did anyone else used to have these? On the map, I'm gonna download the Love Island font or something similar and then write my name. And then there is an option for premium vinyl holographic. So I'm gonna favorite this one. I've just realized I should probably test print this. So I'm gonna go back and just like cut out a little star. As you can see, it cut fine. So I can definitely use that setting. Let's go. And cut. Let's see. And she's done. Look at this. I'm actually so impressed with myself. I think I might have done my name a little bit too big, but I really like that. I'll have to keep you updated as to whether it'll stay on because I'm not quite sure how permanent this vinyl is, but oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go down and show my mum this. Um, but yeah, actually I'm gonna call this vlog a day um, because it is now, I don't even know what time it is. It's almost 6 p.m. and yeah, I've been doing a lot. I've been talking a lot. Hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. Like I said, I'll leave links to everything I've been talking about in the description. Um, thank you for the love and for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.